Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. 49ers, Kyle Shanahan addresses Brock Purdy's status for Week 18. They've won the NFC West easily, now three games ahead of the second-place Rams. They won the top seed in the conference, too, thanks to losses by the Eagles and Lions. There's not much to play for if you're the San Francisco 49ers in Sunday's game against the Rams, which means coach Kyle Shanahan can be expected to be generous with the days off in Week 18. But he's not yet saying if that generosity will extend to quarterback Brock Purdy. Purdy still has an outside chance at winning the NFL's MVP award, though recent play from Lamar Jackson and the Ravens has probably sealed the ward for him. That's a reason for him to play. There is also the matter of continuity and keeping Purdy sharp. The 49ers will have a bye week to open the playoffs, meaning they won't play until January 20. It could be too much to ask Purdy to come back and be in top form after three whole weeks off, which is reason for him to play on Sunday. On the other side, there is the risk of injury. That alone might be enough to convince Shanahan to keep Purdy sidelined. One thing that Shanahan made clear, though, he is not clear on what he is going to do. I don't have that plan yet. We're still discussing all those things, Shanahan said on Monday. It is tempting for a coach to rest his star quarterback in the final week of the season, if all the team's playoff bases have been covered. That 49ers bases have been covered, they will be at home throughout the playoffs heading into the Super Bowl. Problem is, Purdy is not like most star quarterbacks. The way Purdy was thrust into the limelight last season and managed to thrive has been crucial to the 49ers' success this year, both because it means the team has gotten top-level quarterback play all year and because Purdy, the final pick in the 2022 NFL draft, is very cheap. That has allowed the 49ers to bulk up elsewhere but it also means that Purdy is lacking experience. He is just 21 games as a starter under his belt, and though he started two playoff games last year, he only finished one, he was injured against the Eagles in the first quarter of the NFC Championship game. The 49ers can't afford to miss a chance to give Purdy experience against a good and surging team like the Rams, a team the 49ers could see in the playoffs. But, again, they can't afford to have him get hurt against an aggressive and talented defensive front. The Rams tallied six sacks against the Giants in Week 17. For Shanahan, it is a delicate balance, wanting to give players rest and avoid injuries, but making sure they're still ready for action when the team does, finally, get back on the field. And by easing up in Week 18, it's not just the 49ers game itself that is affected, it's practice, as well. I think it can be tough, but it's not just playing, it's how much you practice and everything too, Shanahan said. You've got to make sure that you prepare for games by practicing. We've got a game this week on Sunday. When you give guys the game off, practice changes too. That can end up hurting guys a lot and you end up just developing bad habits. I've seen it cost a lot of teams. That will be on the 49ers coach's mind when he decides about Brock Purdy in Week 18. It always can end up hurting, Shanahan said. You rest players, and that sometimes gets more players injured. That's all that stuff you've got to balance out, and that's why there's not a clear-cut decision on anything. You've got to look at each individual, in each situation, and play it out as the week goes. Brock Purdy sets 49ers passing yards record in bounce-back game. After a tough Christmas night, a short week and a long flight, it would have been understandable if San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy didn't easily bounce back on Sunday against the Washington Commanders. All week leading up to the game, the Niners and Purdy insisted there would be no lingering effects from his four-interception outing against the Baltimore Ravens, that he would return to his previous, efficient form. They were right. There didn't need to be a drastic change or anything, Purdy said. I needed to be smart with the ball and execute better. Simple as that, but being present, taking it one day at a time. While he didn't have his gaudiest numbers of the year, Purdy was 22 of 28 for 230 yards and two touchdown passes with no interceptions in a 27-10 victory. In the process, Purdy etched his name at the top of San Francisco's record books. He is up to 4,280 passing yards this season 
surpassing the previous franchise high set by Jeff Garcia in 2000. No need for a double take, it's now Purdy, not Garcia, Joe Montana, or Steve Young, who has the most productive passing season in Niners history. We've had a lot of really good quarterbacks in this organization, Coach Kyle Shanahan said. And just being told in there that he broke the record for all-time yards in a year, that's a pretty big accomplishment by him and everyone else in there. So, it's cool to do that. Purdy's ascent to the top of the 49ers and NFL record books in single-season passing stats isn't limited to yardage. His two passing touchdowns gave him 31 on the season, making him the first 49ers quarterback to hit the 30-plus mark since Garcia tossed 32 in 2001. Purdy is the fifth quarterback in franchise history to hit the 30-plus mark in a season, and his 31 are tied for fourth in a season in franchise history. Sunday's win was also Purdy's eighth game this season with a passer rating of 120 or higher, it was 124.7 against the Commanders. That is tied for the second most in a season in NFL history and gives him 14 games in his first two seasons with a rating of 110 or higher, tied with Russell Wilson for the most in a passer's first two seasons in NFL history. All of which drives home the point Shanahan repeatedly made after last Monday's loss, which is that Purdy's struggles against the Ravens were the outlier in an otherwise excellent second season for the former Mr. Irrelevant. I tried to tell you guys sometimes the ball doesn't bounce your way, tight end George Kittle said. But most of the time the way that Brock plays, and how consistent he is, and the plays that he makes with his legs, it's crazy. He's a phenomenal football player, and he's just going to keep playing like that for us. It's awesome. Christian McCaffrey suffers mild calf strain, three takeaways, following, hashtag SFVSWAS. The San Francisco 49ers enter the final week of the regular season with some breathing room after securing the NFC's number one seed with a 27-10 win over the Washington Commanders and the Arizona Cardinals' 35-31 upset of the Philadelphia Eagles. For San Francisco, their regular season finale versus the Los Angeles Rams becomes a low-stakes game as the 49ers turn their attention to getting healthy before the NFC Divisional Round. Here are the three biggest takeaways from head coach Kyle Shanahan's Monday conference call. The 49ers star running back surpassed 2,000 scrimmage yards on Sunday after racking up 14 carries for 64 yards on the ground and another four catches for 27 yards through the air against Washington. He exited Sunday's contest early, and the team turned to Elijah Mitchell to lead the rushing attack in the second half. Shanahan said McCaffrey is dealing with a mild calf strain, and the injury will keep him out of the regular season finale. We're really confident on that, McCaffrey will be ready for the playoffs, Shanahan said. It was good news. It could have been a lot worse. We're happy, and we'll take care of him this week. Hopefully, he'll start getting to go during our off week. With several 49ers players dealing with injuries, this coming week will likely feature different personnel configurations and varying snap counts for starters as San Francisco attempts to position itself for success in an extended season. McCaffrey has already been ruled out after suffering a mild calf strain and you should expect to see other playmakers either join him on the sidelines or see their playing time reduced against the Rams. With home field advantage and a first round by in hand, getting healthy while also keeping the momentum going through to the divisional round and working within the constraints of a 53-man roster becomes the challenge for the coaching staff. No one is set right now, Shanahan said. I'm still discussing that with coaches, trying to figure out what is best for us. I will probably discuss with those players also. Not as many as you would think. It's a hard thing to do and it's not always the best thing to do. We're going to take everything into account, so it's something we are going to continue to talk about through this day and tomorrow. And you fan, what do you think of the McCaffrey situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.